Like, let me churn this butter, you know? It's like Bergerton meets butter churning excellence. I told you we have a good time. Oh my God, okay. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is a fun day. I love doing videos like this because it's just so fun to fantasize and tell you guys about all the things I've really been lusting after, thinking about things that have been in my cart, some things I'm really like on the edge of biting the bullet and some things I'm really on the fence. Maybe you guys could help me. We're gonna talk it out. Let's jump right in. So happy to have you guys back. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Maytel. I really hope you subscribe. We have a real good time here, like a real, real good time. I also really wanna thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I love working with Lily Silk because they have so many beautiful classic pieces that I can incorporate into my wardrobe that I can wear over and over again, season after season. Now Lily Silk does a variety of beautiful silks, not just bedding, also blouses, and they have a wide variety of beautiful classics. But then there are also a lot of options that offer a little more drama. You know, if you wanna be a little more eccentric trick with your wardrobe. A little more drama, a little more detail. If you wanna add just like that extra hmm into your outfit, into your look, you know. Lots of different color options in different styles that you can wear in so many different ways. Now, in my last Lily Silk video, I showed you a stunning blazer in navy blue with gold buttons. Just so high-end looking. I love it and I'm going to keep it forever. I love it so, so much that I actually had to get the exact same one in black because I wear so much black day to day. This is just something just like the navy that I'm going to have forever that I'm going to wear years down the line. Like these are just beautiful high end classic pieces that you can incorporate into your wardrobe in various different ways. And you know what else it is with the Lily Silk Blazers is that every time I wear them, I just feel like a little more mature, a little more official. It's just like, it's, it's a feeling. It's a feeling that I get beautiful quality, beautiful detailing, and most importantly, beautiful style. And as always, I will link every single piece I'm wearing. I'll have a discount code for you, so make sure you check the details down below. All right, so let's get started with this epic lust list because some of these I'm just like, ooh, dying for. I really need your help. I really need your advice. And I always value what you guys tell me. So let's just jump right in with number one. All right, so the first thing on my list is a classic Burberry check skirt, but not just any check skirt, pleated. It has to be pleated. Now I have been searching for this for a couple seasons, like well before the lockdown, I've been searching for a Burberry skirt pleated. It just, it has to be, it's just not the same. And I keep seeing check skirts, either too long, straight, like not what I'm looking for. I really just want the pleated check skirt. I think it's like an amazing classic. And I've just really been loving Burberry for the last few seasons now. It's cute, it's classic, it's feminine, it's very me. I don't know if it's classic that they repeat every season. It is a classic because it's something that we've seen so many times over so many different seasons, but I don't know if it's something that that's produced always, you know, that you can always find. So like they bring it out, they take it away, they bring it out, I don't know. But I, I really, really want this pleated skirt, like a bit of a mini, not too mini, just the right mini. I think it'll be such a good addition for my wardrobe. The next thing on my last list is a Bottega pouch bag with the thick chain. Oh my gosh. Well, I have always loved this pouch clutch since the beginning, since it came out. I was all over it. Like as soon as I saw it, I ordered it, I waited for it and I got it. But I am an OG Bottega fan. I have loved Bottega since before Bottega became really cool. And I don't mean to sound like, oh, I'm so on it or braggy, but this is just true. This is just straight up true. Like if you go back to my 2017 YouTube videos where I first started this channel, Bottega I talked about many times. I've shown you guys Bottega bags. I've been rocking Bottega bags well before Daniel Lee. I've always had this thing with Bottega, even though it wasn't like the coolest, but it's very, very cool now. I'm not gonna deny that and I still love it. I don't know, I just liked it because I felt like it was classic and timeless and like, not so recognizable. Like if you know Bottega, you know, 
And if you don't, you don't. But now Bottega has become a real fashion force on the scene, a big leader in what's popping in fashion. And in terms of the square toe trend, Bottega really is the one that hit the ground running with this. So love the brand in general, before and after Daniel Lee. Love it, love it. I do love it a bit more now, definitely a bit cooler. So many more pieces that I want. This bag I just love because it's the pouch clutch, but with the chain, so it's like not a clutch but you can still kind of rock it as a clutch with like that chain hanging down. I think it's such a vibe. I love the pillowy, slouchy, buttery leather of it with just that gorgeous hardware. I don't know, like I know I'm so into this pouch trend right now, but like how long is it gonna last? Do I wanna spend thousands of dollars on something? Number three, uh, let's talk another handbag, the Hermes Kelly. I really want it in like a very, very light baby blue. I saw it and I can't get my mind off of it. Now here's the thing, like back to what I said about the Bottega, like I love Hermes. See, these are bags that I I collect. So I feel like this is like what I struggle with in my head because like, you know, I love the fashion it bags, but then I always feel like maybe I should just not and you know, put that money towards something that is so classic that I'll have forever that will never date. You know what I mean? So I really am lusting over this baby blue. I don't even know what the color is called. I'll try and like look it up and put it on the screen. It's like this light icy blue and Hermes, if you ask me, has always done the most amazing blues, like dark blues, light blues, vibrant blues, classic neutral blues. I have a 30 centimeter Birkin that is blue Zanzibar. Actually, that's one of the first videos I ever did here on YouTube in 2017. It's kind of embarrassing actually when I look back at that. But just like I've always really loved the blues. This is like a totally different shade. It's very neutral, very light, and just something I'm just so attracted to. I absolutely love it. I don't know how much more I have to build up my profile at Hermes to be offered this, and I have not shopped there in a really long time. Probably because I've been spreading my, you know, my funds to fashion elsewhere. You know, it's kind of hard because getting these bags, you have to build your profile, you know? And I just don't want to all the time. And I will not pay more on the resale market. I just will not do it. So, you know, it's a really tough one, but I am kind of on the hunt for this. We'll see what happens. Number four, let's talk Loewe. I am, first of all, very much into this brand. Beautiful fashion. And actually, Loewe is very, very popular for a lot of their handbags, their puzzle bags. I I've never actually gravitated so much towards the handbags. I love their leathers and their belts. Oh my God. So I saw this belt on Matches Fashion a while ago. I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to describe it, but I'll try. Like a 19th century, like churning butter. Like, let me churn this butter, you know, in this long flowing dress with my lace up boots. I'm painting a picture for you. Okay. We're churning butter. We're going to wash some clothes on the rock thing that in this dress with this belt. It's like a thick waist belt that like flares out. It's like Bergerton, Bergerton, Bergerton meets like butter churning excellence. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, what? You guys, it's weird. If you're new here, welcome to Style Hard, okay? We, uh, I told you we have a good time. I told you we have a good time. Oh my God. Okay. I saw it on matches and then I was like, okay, wow, that's a vibe. But then, then I saw it on High Low Lux on Instagram. And I was like, okay, girl, yes, yes. And I was like, sold. I need this belt. Oh, I, I just don't know is it if I want to spend all that. So, you know, I'm uh, like, I'm on the fact, like, I cannot have everything that I want, right? I really, really love this. I have a ton of belts. It's kind of like on my wish list. A lot of things on this list, I'm just not gonna be able to have. I can't have everything I want, but it is a nice fantasy, you know? Maybe one day. Maybe if I keep growing this YouTube channel, I can show you all the things from these lust lists in person, in try-ons, but not today. So I do love this, but I might have to pass on it. Next, I want to talk about the Prada bucket hat because I'm a huge bucket hat fan. I always have been like, I mean, not always, but I've been into the bucket hat. I'm not like a bandwagon bucket hatter. I actually just genuinely like the bucket hat. I bought a bucket hat from the dollar store last summer. 
but was it like I wasn't fitting right I really want the Prada bucket hat because first of all I love Prada the good thing about this is that it's not a crazy price point it's a pretty decent price point when you're in the world of luxury granted it is nylon I mean Prada is known for doing like very high quality nylon. You know, there's a lot of bucket hats happening right now. In fact, Burberry is doing a bucket hat. But I think for this, I really love the Prada because it's like all black, but it has a very Prada aesthetic to it. It's just like very clean, very Prada-esque and very me. Yeah. Next on this list, a pair of boots by Magda Boutram that I have been living for since the fall. Love these. Don't know if I'm gonna bite on them. Now, I love these because they cover a few trends in one. I mean, we talked about the Gia Couture boots, which are very cool, but very viral, just like a little too popular. And then of course the combat boots, the moto boots. I love that these are to the knee. I love the lace up vibe about them, like lace up to the knee with that like chunky lug. Just like a lot of different trends in one. Very cool. These boots have been on my wish list at net a -Porte for like, a while now. I just have so many boots and I know it is cold here so it is something I could justify. Like can I justify another pair? I mean maybe? But I don't know. I'm on the fence about these. I really love them. So cool. Super fashionable. Yeah. I don't know. Should I? Okay next on my list list is like so predictable and maybe a little typical but like I gotta give it to the Chanel 19 because it's just my favorite bag at Chanel right now. Ever since the 19 came out, I've been really obsessed with it. Really, really love this bag. And I just feel like every season since this bag came out, they are doing it better and better and better. I mean, it was like Karl Lagerfeld's last collection and we saw the Houndstooth, which I just thought I was blown away. I was just like, oh my, like they can't top this. Like they just can't top this. And then, what do you know? They topped it. Like, I am just absolutely loving the new 19. Like, beautiful fabrics, colors, details, chains, like, beautiful combinations that I just love. This is something that I really, really might bite on because this might be the top thing on this list that I'm lusting for. I really am in Chanel mode right now, really lusting for a bag. I have a list of favorites. Uh, Chanel 19, definitely at the top of that list. It's just something that is always kind of justifiable for me, even the prices the prices are not let me let me actually let me rephrase the prices are not justifiable the prices are mental but if I'm gonna do it and know that it's gonna be something that I have for life forever uh, it's just a bit of an easier bill to swallow wow there's a lot a lot of things I want to buy I gotta hone it in and pick a few or a couple on this list and then just wrap it up. Last but not least on this list, I want to give it to a dress by this Brazilian designer that I love, that I've told you guys about, Pat Bo. I really, really love these designers that do like a lot of resort wear and a lot of seasonal fashion that I can't even wear all year round. But I just really, really love these types of fashion pieces. I love, love, love this dress, this open back situation. Ugh, just so, so gorgeous. Here's the thing about this dress. Now, I... <laughs> Had this on my wish list at Intermix Online, and I was like, no, I'm not paying full price for this dress. I'm just not. And I just put it on my wish list and I kept checking on it. You still there? Yeah, you still there? Good. And you know, it's like windling down. They're like, three left, only two left, last one. And I'm like, we're not seeing any warning signs. We're okay, we're still in the clear. I'm waiting for a sale. I'm waiting for, I'm not, I'm not doing the full price on this. I'm not doing the full price on this, okay? You know, your girl loves a sale. You know, when it comes to these things, we love a sale. There's some things you're not gonna find on sale. You gotta bite the bullet. This one, I thought, you know, wait. So Intermix sends me this email last night or the night before and they're like, buy more, save more. Sweet, I'm gonna go check on my little wish list over there see what we got going on. I go online, what do we have? Sold out in my size, only one XL left. Here's the thing, I, I'm i still okay with the fact that I didn't buy it full price. There are some things that I just cannot bear to lose and I will pay the full price for it because I'm not waiting for sale, I'm not, I'm not risking it. This one's okay, so we're fine, it's okay, I'm fine. 
Yeah, so it's really good to, to make these videos and talk it out with you because I, you know, I rationalize as I'm making these videos. It's true. I don't need everything. Now that I've made this less list, I can really break down what are the things I really, really can't live without. What are the things I really just don't need? So this was good. This was very productive for both of us, I feel. Right? That wraps up my current lust list for spring 2021. That's what's been on my mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. I always enjoy making videos for you. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back in a couple days with another really fabulous video. And I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.